All right, so in this video, we are going to make use of a Python script that will go through some files and folders, specifically in this case, WAV files, and convert all of those WAV files to MP3. So in order for us to do this, we're going to use Python, and we're going to make use of a specific library that is called PyDub. And this is the link to the GitHub page that PyDub is on. So I'm not the author of this package, but um, it's, it's a really great package, useful one. So if you uh, want to go and give the author some kudos for writing it, I encourage that. Uh, and so basically what we're going to do is we're going to make use of this to convert the files from WAVE to MP3. And uh, in order for us to do this, we're going to have to install PyDub. So the two things that I'm going to assume that are installed on your machine are Python and pip, the package manager. And if both of those things are in your machine, <clears throat> then you can just run the following command, pip install pydub. So I'm not going to run this in this terminal, but I already have this on my machine, so I don't need to. So if you run this, you'll see a bunch of uh, installation. And at the end of that, you hopefully will have that installed on your system. And one way to check whether or not you successfully have it installed is to open up a Python terminal and try to import pydub. And if you don't see any error messages that result in this import statement, then you're good to go, and pydub is ready to roll. So I'm going to exit out of that terminal and give it a clear. And the other thing that we'll need in order to run pydub is, if we scroll down to the installation and debugging and dependencies, we need to set up ffmpeg. So depending on whatever operating system you happen to be on, whether that's Mac, Linux, or Windows, you'll need to install the proper uh, libraries for FFmpeg. So again, this is something I've already done. I'm on Linux, so I just grabbed this thing here. I popped that into my terminal, pasted it, and then hit enter, and everything was uh, properly installed. So if you have those two things ready to go, you are uh, ready to run. And let's go back over to this folder here. Uh, again, we'll be converting all of these files in this folder, uh, anything that ends in a wave extension, to MP3. And then we'll be removing the wave files that, that uh, are left over. So let's get to it. Let's open up this script. And the things that we're going to need in this script are OS, of course, PyDub, and Glob. So Glob will be used to um, essentially allow us to cycle through the files in a folder that we're in. So <clears throat> the script that I'm running and the and the files that I want to convert happen to be in the same directory. It might be uh, different for you. Maybe the files are in a different directory or maybe there's many directories with WAV files. Um, still at all, this should be an easy enough script for you to modify, uh, but this is kind of the most basic way uh, where I'm assuming that everything's in the same directory. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to declare a variable, which will be a list, and it's going to be called WAV files. This is going to be a list of all of the WAV files that we have in the folder. And in order for us to extract that, we're going to use glob and write the following expression. So what this is doing is it's using glob to check the folder that we're in and pull out all the files that end in a WAV extension. So the star is for pretty much anything preceding this dot .wav, and it's storing any of the files that end in a dot .wav and putting them in this list WAV files. So indeed, if we just print out WAV files, we should get a list of all of the uh, files in our directory that have a dot .wav extension. So we're good to go there. So let me just delete that. And let me just make sure I delete that there. Gotcha. All right, so now we're going to loop through the files in this list, and we're going to convert them to MP3 format. So I'm going to say for wave file in wave files, which is the list, and I'm going to first create a variable called MP3 file, and this is just going to be the name of the uh, MP3 file that we're going to create. And so what I want to do is I want to create an MP3 file with the same exact name course with a different extension. So I want to extract the contents that precede the extension in all of these files as we loop through them. So I'm going to say mp3 file is equal to ospath.splittext wav file and I'm going to take the first part of that and then I'm going to add on a .mp3. So what I'm doing here is I'm splitting the content of the wav file. So I'm splitting on the dot and I'm just extracting the first part of that, that's what this zero is for, the first part of that, um, it's splitting on the dot. 
and then I'm adding the extension .mp3. So instead of .wav, it'll be .mp3. So again, just to kind of be clear on what's actually happening here, if I print out the .mp3 file, what I should see is all of the files, at least the names of the files that we had in the folder, with now a .mp3 extension. Uh, of course, we haven't converted the audio yet. That's what we're going to use PyDub for. So in order to do that, I'm going to say sound is equal to PyDub the audio segment dot from wave and I'm going to feed it the name of the wave file so it's just going to extract the wave content it's going to let it know that it's a wave and it's going to extract it from whatever wave file we happen to be on in the loop store in the sound variable so now I'm going to say sound dot export and I'm going to tell it that I want to export the sound that's stored here into mp3 format so what this is going to take is a name, so I want to call it mp3 file, which is what we have up here, and then I want to tell it that I want the format of that file to be encoded in mp3. And then the final thing that I'm going to do in this uh, loop is I'm going to say os.remove, and I'm going to re remove the WAV file. So what this is going to do is it's going to go through, convert this uh, to the mp3, and then delete it, so it's not going to have the original WAV. Uh, go through the next file, delete the wave, create the mp3 uh, in the reverse order, and just keep going through until all of the wave files have been dealt with. So if your uh, particular script or example, if you want to keep the original file, uh, just, just remove this line. Otherwise, you can follow along, and at the end of this loop, I'm going to have a statement that says conversion complete to let me know that the conversion has gone through all the files. So this might be helpful if you have lots of files where this could take quite a long time to complete. There's only a few files in this folder. So if I run this, it doesn't take long at all to finish. And indeed, if I open this up, I see that all of these files are now .mp3. And you can see the little mp3 symbol on the inside, which means that it is a proper mp3 file. So that is um, pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments. Please give a kudos to the creator of PyDub, and thank you again for watching.